welcome back uh, once again i am welcoming you to this uh, session on trading on uh, ms office application so we will be continuing as uh, we have already shared the schedule of two days the first day we will be covering the basic of uh, microsoft word and uh, the topic which we are going to cover already uh, we have shared and the second day we will be having the microsoft word training that will be uh, advanced training in which uh, we shall be covering some of the, the advanced uh, level uh, of the microsoft word especially that will be for um, uh, research scholar and those who are involved in uh, research writing and um, research proposal so that will be really good for them so both the session uh, today and tomorrow uh, it is our humble request that you please make use of the uh, experts uh, expertise of uh, professor gupta sir and madam kulvinder so now may i request uh, kulvinder madam to please uh, take over the session and continue over to you madam thank you i'm going to share my screen ah uh, yes Can you see my screen yet? Uh, yes, it is visible now. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going and, to. And uh, my on. request, yes, yeah. my request to all the participants is that uh, please uh, do not share the question in between, uh, because uh, we may uh, miss the questions, important questions. So if you have any query or questions, so you can ask the question at the end of session. Uh, first, all of you, please go uh, uh, with Madam what she is going to teach you. And uh, I hope that we have already discussed and shared that uh, you are working, you are sitting with a computer and you have Microsoft Word in your system. So uh, she will be guiding you and training you and follow the instruction of Madam. Over to you, Madam. Please ca carry on. Thank you. I'm going to switch my camera off because I'm, I'm using another screen. Sure, Madam. Uh, you can continue the way you want. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good afternoon and good morning. Uh, so I will be covering Microsoft Word. I assume you all have worked so Microsoft Word open. If it's not open and you may have saved on your system or installed on your system. So if you can open up a new Word document and if you're using a Mac, then it depends on your system. So please open your Word or you're using a Office 365. You can open via Google Docs. Uh, I assume you all have Word document is open now. And I will start uh, my session. Before I move on, I just go, I'm just going to give you a bit of history of Microsoft Word. and. Uh, the first ever version of Microsoft Word 1.0 was launched in October 1983 and developed by former Excel programmer, which is Charles Samoing and Richard Brody. And uh, for now, since then, for now, we are around up to version 14. The one version I am using here, this is Microsoft Office 365. And before we go any further, and I'm just going to start, I'm going to cover some of the tools which is on top of uh, this Word document. The first one I am going to cover is the, the shortcuts. Another thing is with Microsoft Word, you can create a document that stand out document of all kind of you can be it could be your thesis could be your project it could be your uh, uh, newsletter or brochures or research paper or anything whether you work on your own or collaborate with a team word has the features you need to create document that get your message out so before we do anything
Okay, let's cover some of the features. If you can see my Word document at the moment, this is a document, which is just a sample file I just created to use it so I can, we can save some time. And right top of this, <clears throat> follow my mouse. Right top of that, these are shortcuts. The shortcut, you know, need to go you quickly, you need to use them. For example, this is save button, which is who commonly use shortcuts and undo button, which is like if in case you you want to go back to your previous text and then printer and other word count I have here. In case you need to add more buttons here, which is shortcut you, you commonly used, you can click on customize your buttons and you probably have some of them here, which you can see them. But then again, if there's more commands, if I click on more commands, you have more commands, which you can add them into quick access toolbar. For example, I want to add copy into the quick access toolbar. So you select copy and click on this error is in here. And let's have a cut one as well. For example, I don't want some of the features here. I always can reverse them. Say so like cut one, I can reverse. So it's gone back. Um, so this way you can customize your own feature on quick access toolbars. And once you are happy with these quick access toolbar, save it. And now you will see them. You can see them all the toolbar, the one I just add them, see copy and cut. And you probably you can see them more here. They've been quick access cool toolbars are here. And another thing is that if we look on the features on the top, and these are tabs. If you see home, insert, draw, design, these are called tabs. Under the tabs, there is a groups, group of tools here. Like for example, if I click on home, home tools, these are under home. And if I click on insert, these are insert tools here, the moves and draw and so on. We can see that. And as this is the basic course, I am going to start with the home button. You, one more thing is like these tools, ribbons are displayed here at the moment. You can, if I double click on, if click on home, they disappeared. If I want them come back, I double click on home or one, I think. And another features on the side of this here, a little arrow going up and down. That does help to uh, tools. So if you hover your mouse on your tool and you should be able to see what they called. So look, if I hover my mouse, it says bold. But because I'm using a Mac, it doesn't show more of more of details. If you're using a window, and uh, you will see, it will showing a bit more shortcuts and with a bit more details. And this is paste area. And then we have another group of areas here in the groups, in the home area. So let's start adding some text. So you click wherever you want to add your text. And then just remember the cursor should be flashing the way is my flashing now. Uh, let's give a title to this, um, this uh, uh, document. So on your keyboard, with my mouse, I'm using my mouse and click and cursor is flashing on my keyboard. And I am going to uh, type capital
let's say Okay, let's format this now. So I typed title, a kind of, a, in my opinion, a kind of, a, because it's a title, I prefer to have a, some capital, like say annual capital, C capital, S capital. To the quicker way of doing this, if we go to, this tool which is called change case tool and click hold down and highlight and if i think i need sentence case let's see if it work what is it now i wanted every single letter to be capitalized say each capitalized word and you can see that this is a quicker way of doing it and another thing is sometimes what happens is like a, we forget a, we go cap lock is on and then we continue typing and we might have one letter is a small letter and then comes up uh, the rest of the letters is a capital. There is button called toggle case. So we can use that one. So let's, I think my title is, I need a bit, a bit more to stand out. Maybe I can highlight and let's have a most of them uppercases. That not, looks a bit better. And I might have a, because at the moment, the size is 11. If you see here, 11. Either I can click on drop down menu and change my size. Or as long as it's a highlighted, or see there's a small A and big A, either I can use one of those. And let's have a, if I click on this, it will take me to the next size. And look, if you see it changed to 14. Change to 14, okay, that sounds good. Now, I might want to change uh, the text layout. So at the moment is Calvary body. So uh, let's have a look at what else we can change. So you highlight your text and have a look down. We got list of uh, text here. If I hover on top, it gives me options. Let's so once I clicked on, well, I like the text and it changed it. So we have options here to change to your choice. And it depends on your documents. Right. Now this time is aligned left. Because this is my title, I just want some bit more stand out. Now if we go in alignment here, see is or D by default is selected a line left. When I hover my mouse on top, is a line to left. So now let's this one side a line to right. Let's click on a line to right to see how we look. No, this is also not right. So let's have a look. See center. This is a center. So let's try clicking on a center. I think this is, looks uh, much better to me. So this is the way you can format your text. So I can highlight, it's already bold. And this bold button will allow me to make a bit more stand out. And this is italic if you want to use or underline. I think I'm probably going to take my, if you need to remove and you just click back on removed and 
I might remove my underline as well. Yeah. So if you think you want to change the color of your text, and this is color, font color, if we click on the arrow on the side, we got more colors here. And uh, let's say red. Mm. Right, I think I'm probably going to go back to my black color. Another thing is, so I think I'm going to go back to black color. And if we go on the my shortcut tools, we have a undo button. If I click on undo, it will take me one step back. If I click again, it take me further step back. Now I want to remove my quick way of removing my under uh, line. So if I click on read, say, can you see it says redo? So it will take me back. Okay, I'm happy with this text now. And undo feature is very useful um, in the area of uh, using, uh, if you want to quick undo something. Another thing is on this document, if you have a look, is a ruler there on displayed ruler. And this will gives me the size of uh, this paper. And at the bottom, and I have a uh, word counts. To do that, if we click on view button, if you see that is a ruler ticked, if I untick, that's removed now. And I think I prefer ruler, it click and it come back. So it's kind of sometimes is useful to display the text. And if I go back to my home again, and this is showing, if you see this button here, and if I can move from my text, if I hold it down, need to adjust my text, I can do this way. And all other side. And so far, so good. Now, I want to delete this text to remove it. We have a few options here. Another one, we have a cut. I can just click a cut or press key keyboard button on your keyboard, delete button, or simply I can put back backslash. And now if I bring it back this text, I come back with undo button. And if you cut this, for example, you want to move this text somewhere else. And if I use cut button, I can click here as long as my cursor is flashing, uh, I can paste it on your Windows keys, Control X, and on your Mac keys, Command X. Oh, sorry. Sorry. On your Windows keys, Control V, and on your Mac is Control B, or uh, Command V. So now, if you see that, this text uh, is displayed as it was, but I want to match according to my uh, the text I already have. As soon as you paste it, you will have a paste option. Dialog opens up. If I click next to it, and it's asking me how I want my text to be. If I click on match destination, it matches with my previous. Let's have a look. I keep text only. So I can undo now. Another option is here, paste option here. If you see, if, if I click on, I can click on as a picture. Let's click, paste the picture. This is a picture now. I can't edit. This become a picture. Or 
match the formatting so it matches uh, with my uh, th the previous one so uh, basically i don't really need it i'm just going to delete it now just i'm pressing delete button on my or, or there's another option you can right click uh, move to bin delete Check right click. As you, if you're using a window, uh, it should have a right click and delete. Right now, next thing, what we're gonna do? Save a document. So few way of saving it on your window you can have a control s to save because i'm using or you can go to file and if you're keeping the document the same as the document you're keeping the same copy you can click save and the when you go to the file you have more options here you have to create new document or you can uh, open new documents close this document save this document if i save it it will save this document because this document is saved on my computer if you see the title here on the top in the middle of my document this is showing the title of my document which is saved already saved in case i want to have a duplicate copy and modifies for something else and I, I won't keep the draft but save as something different so go file and i will go save as and then i can change the name maybe I'll say two and then i select the folder where i want to save it and then hit the save button. We will be canceling this one. This is the way you can save document or you can just simply click save. And because we have some shortcut and I always recommend you when you're working on a, a document, uh, just make a habit of a saving a regular. So click save regular. Unless you're working in Office 365 documents online, they have a uh, features automatically saving documents. So let's go and click on home. And another features here is the highlight one. So in case you emphasize some documents to highlight a color background, and you highlight the text you want to highlight and click on and then choose the color. So highlight it in your choice of color. And for example, I did all this formatting, but I don't like it. I, there is a quick option to clear the formatting it's gone back to our original formatting uh, click undo and then i think i will remove the highlight if you want to need to remove go back to highlighting remove no color so another useful tool is here which is quite useful if you see my uh, i have some my cursor is flashing here i believe i have some spaces there if i click backspace it's taking me up if you're not sure if you have any spaces there there is a, a show and hide formatting marks tools button 
if I click on this one, I can see that we have got spare spaces. These are non-printable characters. If you go on, you cannot print them. So like say I want to remove this. Oh, I want to remove this. And this will show you, you have some extra spaces there. Let's remove. Uh, to undo all this, you just simply go back and click on, click on there. So the next thing, let's do something a little bit more formatting on this document. Let's have uh, this part centralize it. We click as as it by default. This is aligned to left. Centralize it looks a bit better now to me. And maybe what we can do that early word we highlight it, uh, make it bold, highlight first, uh, bold. And also, I might change this to capital, all capital letters. So if I go back here, let's do uppercases. And Right now, I think uh, let's move this line down here. Another way of highlighting line, if you click front of uh, your front of uh, your line, sh because I think I'm using a Mac, it's not doing it. It should highlight it all in one go. And I want to move this. Let's see if it moves it. Yeah, hold, drag down and let it go. You can see that this line's been moved. And so if I were, if you think quicker way of moving your text around, say highlight your line, let's move it at the top and you just let it go. Or perhaps I'll keep it back here. And let's make this bold as well. Go to bold. Perhaps uh, we'll do uppercases and the quicker way of doing rather than typing. If I low cases, now nah, let's do it uppercases. Make sure it's highlighted first and uppercases and this is the link if i click right next to the link press enter it automatically highlighted and i think this seems like on the wrong place i am not going to bring this down bring maybe down here and i'm going to move this to a line left. So on my tools here on the top, left. What we can do that now, use some styles on this. Let's see, I want to use some styles. And we have, this is our style area. And let me say more style, style pen. Say I want to use this uh, emphasize, it's changing my text, uh, strong. Uh, 
Right, let's create a... Right, let me cancel it. Let's change it. Let's highlight something here. And let's fill up some colors. Maybe this one, let's see. Colors. And... So... I might change this to all capitalize. This is my heading. And all oh, oh, I can put border around. Let's see, look how the border looks. That's now. Uh, undo maybe i'm happy with this style i think i'm gonna do a bit darker one color let's do a little bit darker so we can see so this is my headings uh let's create you click in between let's create a new style and start give it the style name you can see that this is the style we're trying to create it eh? And maybe I name it N I T S style type. We just keep it as it, and you can modify how you, how you want your style. Add quick style list. So if I press OK, it's been added one of these here. So it's been added. You can see that this style has been added. Now let's get rid of this. Now if we go down, we have more headings. Got this heading. If I click on this heading, unless we choose the same style, highlight, And another thing is we have, this is a formatting tool. If you want to keep it the same, this is the formatting tool. And it will do the same heading. There is four, and let's change our headings. If I have I got any more? To look like the same. The quickest way of doing the heading. So another thing, let's go to quicker review button. And if you want to check your grammars or you want to check how many words on document, click on this. It gives you the briefing of uh, your uh, word count. It shows page two, how many words there are, characters, how many lines, and and this button here is a spelling check. And this will is telling me which is my wrong spelling. And or either if sometime you have a names, I will show computer might think this is wrong spelling. You can ignore them or you can ignore all or you can add. You can change and let's cancel it because this is and also if you notice that it highlighted my style and checking the proofing if i right click it will give me some example of uh, the word and if this word you regular use you can add to dictionary or add to auto correction. So if you want to have a look on this word, 
smart look here or translate and let's quickly click on smart look and that it give you basically a bit more information about this word we go click there let's have a look right click translate this will translate into different should try because this is at the moment is english or I, it should translate to different let's have a look and we type a word from english whatever it is if we copy this word from here so or you can add a link here if you if you go this word you go website link you can click link so so far so good our document looks all right so far and another thing is uh, as we see that our document is uh, all aligned left and maybe let's try to change a bit of uh, formatting on this we click on home and let's if i click between paragraph anywhere let's try justify text this is looks a bit better and uh, what we can do that i can highlight my document and click justify that's if we see if the document start looking a li little bit better now the, another thing is line spacing sometime if there is a line spacing button if you click on line spacing it will we can change our line spacing So let's see we want this to be two you can see automatically moved it or we want just one point and oh 115 which is a normal one for time being and sometime after paragraph they might have some space sometimes we wonder why the paragraph uh, see this is a paragraph and we don't have this is there is some space there but we don't see that let's have a look remove some space remove it see and this it brought right close to each other so let's have a space add a space after the paragraph so And if you want to change a whole document, the spacing, you just highlight whole document, control A or command A. Let's make an equal spacing between. Let's do it 1.5 in whole document. And we'll add, we go spacing after the paragraphs. start looking a bit better and i think we have some space here we can check remove as we can see that our document already start looking good
So the next thing, let's do something a bit more, uh, type something. Let's go to the heading here, creating artificial intelligent. And say, for example, we want to see some top jobs in this area. Let's start typing some. Say software engineer. Maybe research. Science. Let's write a few more. Computer science. Mechanical engineer. Right, so far I typed a few. Let's, let's give them a heading as well. Say top jobs. Maybe say top careers. In. So give them heading. So I think we need to modify this. It doesn't look as we want it. I'm going to highlight this. Let's make a bit bold. Now, if you have just top of careers in artificial intelligence, uh, randomly, so we can put bullet points. So let's do some bullets. Highlight this thing. And if you we see uh, we have uh, some bullets, bullet points, if I click on these bullets, it automatically gave me, these are by default, the round ones. Click on the error on the side we have a more option. If you want to remove then, you can click no. Let's have a look more options. We have more option. Oh, let's have a look. Define. Is showing you more. Define. Or you can have, if you have your own picture, you can, uh, Add a picture, make it bullet points. So you have quite a few options here. I depend on the computer you're using, you might have more options. So I'm probably going to stick to this. All right, this is just a, as a normal bullet list. If we say top five, now we need to number them so we know which one is the top five. So let's say we highlight our top five. We will go in the numbering area and then it give you quite a few options how you want to number your top five. Let's choose this one. So that means the top is a soft engineer. Second top is research scientist third top is so, so on. So this is giving you which one is on the top, which one on number fifth. And <clears throat> so if we highlight this, we have, a, let's see how many options we have. 
we can change to the options we like to change. And we have another here option, how you want them to be. Let's try this one. Yeah, you have more options in the next. Right, I think let's use uh, this one that looks. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of a, right here on the front of, a, I just want to indent, indent them. So on this button, <clears throat> decrease indent, increase. So let's say increase. You can see that it's moving a little bit. Um, If I want to put it back, can go back or here. <clears throat> and also, we can change these into tables if we need to. Let's have a look, table style. No, she's saying draw table. Um, either draw table or convert table. And I think let's, let me have a look in the design area. Yeah, so either we can change them into, convert into tables. I think I'll leave it, let's, let's have a look what has come up. It changed to tables. Now once we change into tables, and then the, there's more options opens up. And if, for example, and then we have more tables there. Let's try some of them, how it look like. That looks like a bit like that. This. Yeah, it's change. You choose the style you like to keep it. Let's have a... I think this looks a bit better. So you can change them into tables. That's the way you can change the tables into... Most of your Word document will contain mostly text. It's important to know how to grab your reader's attention by creating visual interest. And a great way to do that is to apply format to your text, so which is we just did. And if we go back to our document, the one we started from the beginning, and we made a changes to this document. <clears throat> so let's have a look. Another thing I left, let's have a look if opening up new documents. If we go file, open new, 
I opens up new documents. Easy way of doing it. And you just start working on your documents. Let's say quit this one. Oops. Come back. Okay, so because I haven't saved document, uh, this uh, it will not quit for me. So <clears throat> let's have a look more tools here. So these are the styles. Um, Let's have a look a bit more here tools. This is insert area. I give you option to cover page, blank, insert blank page. Another one is page break. Let's cover page break. So for example, sometimes we have a pages and, and we want like, see the future of the tech, uh, technology, this page, I want it on separate page rather than click at the front and pressing, keep pressing, enter, enter, enter. This is not ideal. Let's go back to undo. This is not ideal way of doing it. So there is another option is a page breaks. And you click at the front of your heading and see here is a page break. It, it made a break now. So I can see that my page is nicely landed on the next one. And perhaps we'll have this one on the next page. But this is fine, actually, because my text is not all over the place. Sometime we have um, text, maybe one line on other page and the rest is going moving to the page two. And this is the way you can um, change your page. Say, for example, here we want to add a blank page. And uh, this will add a blank page. And another option they have, uh, you have more option to have shapes, pictures, icons, a 3D images, smart art, charts, which will be covered in your advanced sessions. And then they have a cover page. For example, I want to have a cover page because this is my document. I need to have a cover page. Uh, let's have a look at cover page. There are some default design for your documents and uh, you can choose them and then modify them. If I click on any of these cover page and I can type my document title, this would be my front page and, and then it's starting from page. Let's do it under And another one is, let's choose, <clears throat> these are headings. <clears throat> let's highlight, let's have this is heading one. Let's not get 
let's have heading two. And this is heading one. This is also a useful feature. We'll have heading two. And about us heading two. And if we click on our document, when is we display our documents, they are display as print view. And in here, it says outline, a web layout, we can change. Let's, let's put a little tick on outline. That looks like this. Go back and do it. This is come up here, close. And in my view tab, I like, let's click on navigate pan. So when we click the navigate pan, we can see my document. Okay, I want to read on this one or this one. And another one, this one is a list. This is a small document only for two pages. For example, we got hundreds of pages document and I need to quickly go to the careers uh, this page to click on it will take you this page this is the benefit of having a setting up your headings my title is this one it will take me to the top and connecting to this the future of uh, AI about us this is a quite a useful feature. And so let's, if we can always, anytime we can remove them and click and remove. There is another option uh, while I'm here, the page area, zoom, 100%, one page, multi-pages, uh, page width, you click on zoom and it kind of gives you the option. Let's have a 150. And okay, you can see that my page has been shrunk. Uh, I just put 100%. It takes me 100%. Sometimes you probably want to see your whole page on one page, one screen, 100%. One page is showing one page, multi pages. And sometimes you probably want to see your two, three pages on one go. Uh, one page, we can zoom. I can zoom back to 200. This is uh, also very useful feature to know. And another one, I think, let's go back here. So this is here. So we want to put in ascending or descending order. And we have button here, A to Z. And I click what, what I want and press. So this is ascending order. If I click again, you can see is ascending is ticked. And let's have a descending order. And this made it descending order. So A to Z, and we can put it back to ascending order. Okay, the computer uh, on top and then it go with A alphabetic orders. Um, so far, let's put this in the middle and I might highlight it. Maybe different color. Another thing, there is another option in the highlighter in here. You can uh, right. If another way, quicker way of doing is you sometime. So you need to highlight something and you just select this. When you select that, because you haven't highlighted your uh, text, 
and the little pen will come out. You just highlight with the pen. And just hover it over and just unselect it. I think, um, and this is a format painter, and there will also is a short, a short, quicker way of uh, highlighting your, uh, quicker way of changing your text formatting. And uh, for example, I want to change this one, same one to this. Click on format painter. Uh, possibly let's try this, yeah, and we just brush it over. And Thank you very much. Uh, I think we have covered all the basics which we need to do today. And thank you for uh, your patience. If you have any questions, please put them in the chat. I can go through again. <clears throat> thank you, madam. Thank you very much for your uh, uh, wonderful session. Now may I request the participants, if you have any query or question, uh, please add to your chat box, enter in your chat box so that uh, Madam can take up the question and answer accordingly. If any one of you is having any query or question related to this session, so uh, we will answer all the queries. I think they do not have any query. They all must be hang hungry, Madam, because it's one o'clock. So they must be waiting to go for lunch. So thank you, madam. Thank you very much for your uh, wonderful session. I hope uh, they can see this uh, session later also. Uh, the recording will uh, be available on the same link through which you have joined. So you can refer this uh, session later also. And uh, uh, in case you have any query or question later on, so please don't forget, you just you can add to our WhatsApp group what you have joined. So accordingly, we will answer uh, all the queries. So <clears throat> now uh, we will be having the another session. That uh, session I'll be taking. But uh, here we will be taking a break uh, of lunch uh, of th 30 minutes. And uh, I request all of you to please rejoin at... Uh, 130 so that we can uh, finish the basics of word today and tomorrow we'll be having another session of uh, advanced word in that we will be uh, discussing some uh, advanced feature of the word so madam thank you very much for your wonderful session and uh, it has been really great to hear you and uh, you, you thank you covered all the basics Thank you, madam. Thank you very, very much. Thank you all. Thank you. I'll be updated with the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Bye-bye all.